Hey guys, my name is Matsumio, and recently Ubisoft made an announcement that they're gonna be making some pretty substantial changes to Rainbow Six Siege, probably one of the biggest changes that they've made in a while, and that is that they're going to be making every single weapon's recoil predictable. This means that every single time that you play as a certain operator, you're gonna know exactly how their weapons perform every single time that you use it. To give an example of this, let's say you're using the R4C for Ash. Now, this example isn't set in stone, this is just something that I came up with the top of my head to kind of give you an illustration of what I'm assuming Ubisoft is going for, but if you go fully automatic, let's say those first four bullets are just going to be completely vertical. And so if you want to have pinpoint-like accuracy, you want all those bullets to land in one spot, all you need to do is pull down to compensate for it. But then let's say after that, the next three bullets start to drift off to the right a little bit, and then the three after that they start to drift over to the left as well or pretty significantly on over to the left and then everything after that if you continue to go fully automatic will just be completely vertical recoil now the key component of all of this is that this will happen every single time that you use the r4c it's not going to deviate from this recoil pattern whatsoever it's going to go straight down right left and then down again and you're going to know it's going to do that every single time now, the reason why Ubisoft is making such a large change and moving away from the random recoil patterns that we're all used to, I mean, the random recoil patterns have been in the game since the very beginning, is for a couple of reasons. The one big one that I was not expecting is apparently this is going to be solving their misalignment issues. If you have ever had a moment where you have your crosshair on an enemy, you try to take them down and your bullet misses for some reason, you might think that it was hit registration. Sometimes it is hit registration, but other times it's this misalignment. There are moments where you use specific weapons where your crosshair, let's say you're using the ACOG especially, the ACOG sights isn't, is misaligned for where the bullet is actually going to be landing. It's incredibly frustrating when this happens. Apparently, they've known about this issue for a long time, and this is their solution to it. They've, they've tried, I'm assuming, tried to solve this issue along the way, but this is their way that they're going to be able to solve this entirely with these predictable recoil patterns. Another reason why Ubisoft might be doing this is just to simply increase the skill ceiling of the game. If you want to master a particular operator now, not only do you need to know the ins and outs of their gadget and how to use them properly, but you're now going to need to know and learn the recoil of each and every single one of their weapons if you want to be successful. And then lastly, the final reason is that this will just remove a lot of the randomness in RNG that can happen in a firefight. If you guys are like me, you've had moments where you're completely missing the enemy, you're kind of dancing around their head, you're, you're not hitting any part of their body, and then all of a sudden, the weapon recoils in your favor. You didn't know that it was going to recoil up to the left because at the end of the day, it was random. It recoils on up, you line that headshot, and you're able to win that firefight. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Once again, this is something that we've been all using used to since the very beginning. It's, it's just a part of Rainbow Six Siege, but now by adding in these predictable recoil patterns, this isn't going to happen anymore. You know where the weapon's going to kick. You know how it's going to perform. And so now when you take out the enemy, sure, there's probably going to be some luck involved. You're not going to be able to master every single weapon in the game. But as long as you use these weapons for a long period of time, you're going to have the tools. You're going to be you're going to be able to know that recoil to be able to win these firefights based off of your skill and not the luck of the RNG or the randomness that can happen in this game. Uh, so with all this being said, what does this actually mean in the grand scheme of things for Rainbow Six Siege? Well, first of all, this is going to add in way more variety. It's going to add in more content depending on what player you are, and that could increase the longevity of the game. If you're someone who wants to master every single one of the operators, well, this is going to be more content. You're going to have to go in and, and really learn. You're going to have to strive and learn all of these new recoil patterns. And honestly, if the game continues uh, to do well, it continues to sell well, and they keep bringing in new operators, uh, it's going to get to the point where there's just so much to learn that you're never going to get bored if you just enjoy what Rainbow Six Siege is. Every single time that you play the game, you could try to master a new operator. You could go on in and try a new recoil pattern and try to get comfortable with that new weapon. So that's one benefit. This also probably will add in a lot more variety. The R4C for Ash compared to the F2 for Twitch isn't all that different. Yes, there are some nuances here and there, but at the end of the day, both of them have a high rate of fire, they both hit really hard, and the way that you compensate for the recoil is to pull straight down. If you use the R4C for Ash, you probably know how to use the F2 for Twitch. Well, if they go through with this change, that might not be the case anymore. Let's say the R4C drifts really far to the left. The, the F2 could drift really far to the right. And so because each of them are gonna have their own unique recoil pattern, 
that's gonna add in more variety. Operators are not gonna just be differentiated because of the gadget that they have, but now the weapons are gonna be significantly different as well. They're gonna have their own uniqueness, and that might be something that really appeals to some players. Now, on the other side of the coin, though, there are some people that weren't thrilled by this announcement. There is already a lot to learn in Rainbow Six Siege. You gotta learn all the maps, all the different callouts, the different strategies for every single one of those maps. You gotta learn the different operators, the nuances between them, how they interact with everyone, else there's a lot to learn in this game like the skill ceiling is already insane and so if you're someone who just plays the game casually or if you're wanting to buy the game for the first time and you're now learning that there's even more that you're gonna have to learn uh, this might be a deterrent like this might be a turnoff and you might not want to play the game anymore or even get involved to begin with Another worry I've heard is that the game is moving away from being a tactical first-person shooter and more of a twitchy first-person shooter. A lot of people picked up Rainbow Six Siege for the first time because they wanted a slower, more methodical tactical experience. They want to make callouts. They want to have strategy win the day. They want to have tactics win the day and not necessarily how quickly you can aim at the enemy and compensate for that recoil. And so I'm assuming that the fear that they have is that this is just going to lead to more people relying on their gun skills and less on tactics. There's already players out there that run around like maniacs as Ash, just charging into the objective room and taking everyone down. Well, now imagine someone who has mastered Ash and their recoil can have the precision and just pinpoint like accuracy because they know exactly how it works. It's going to be even more terrifying. And so for players out there that just don't enjoy that play style, that's just not something that they like about Rainbow Six Siege, this just might exasperate that problem. Uh, the final concern I've been hearing people express about this is that they don't want the game to turn into Counter-Strike. If you guys ever played Counter-Strike Go, you also know that they have predictable recoil patterns that can get pretty crazy to learn. Because most weapons in the game don't allow you to aim down sights, you don't get the visual representation of the recoil while you're going fully automatic, and so you don't notice while you're hip firing that even though your reticle is right on the enemy, that your bullets are flying all over the place. Really, the only way to learn those recoil patterns in Counter-Strike is to shoot at a wall and get it down to muscle memory. Like, that's, that's how you learn, and I don't think a lot of people want that for Rainbow Six Siege. I don't think it's gonna be that severe. Because we can aim down sight, because I'm assuming our bullets are gonna go exactly where our reticle is landing, yeah, it might take some time for us to get adjusted to it because it's gonna be different from the ones that we have right now, but we'll have that visual representation of the weapon bouncing around all over the place and it'll be much easier to learn. Now, of course, I could be wrong about this. Ubisoft could throw us a curveball and turn this into Counter-Strike 2.0, but I just don't see that happening. Because they've specifically stated that they want to solve the, the bullet misalignment, they want to ensure that our bullets are landing exactly where we're shooting, it just wouldn't make sense for our bullets to fly all over the place like it does in Counter-Strike. And so I'm assuming most weapons are going to perform relatively the same that we have right now, it's just going to have that predictability to it. Now one thing I think is worth mentioning is that every single weapon is absolutely going to be seeing a buff and a nerf depending on what player that you are. You may have loved the R4C before the patch, if they go through with this, you might despise the new recoil pattern. It may just not mesh with you, you may not enjoy how it works, and maybe a weapon that that you never used before is now fantastic. I mean, they could make some recoil patterns really complex. Others might be a lot more simplistic, kind of elevating their power. It's really hard to say. I don't think I can stress this enough that this is probably one of the biggest changes that Ubisoft is going to be making to Rainbow Six Siege. Every single one of the weapons is now going to have a different recoil pattern. That's crazy. Like, that is a monumental change, and it's really going to have a large impact on the way that we play the game in the future. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about this potential change. Ubisoft has said that it's not going to happen right away. It is going to go on to the technical test servers, so people are going to have a chance to try it out, give our feedback. But based off of this right now, are you excited? Are you disappointed? Do you think this is the right direction that we should be going? Personally, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because it does have a lot of benefits. If they are able to solve the misalignment problem, that's going to be huge. Adding in more of a skill ceiling for someone like me who plays a lot, that's actually really appealing. Having the variety between all of the operators sounds really exciting and being able to actually win a firefight because I was able to control the recoil pattern because I've learned that, that sounds like a nice proposition. And so give me your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, but yeah guys, that is it for today's video. I figured you guys would want to know about this. Like this is going to be a pretty crazy change to Rainbow Six Siege if it actually goes through. So I hope you guys enjoyed. But until tomorrow guys, have a good one and take it easy.